I'm Belinda Akba. I'm the current chair of the Minority Affairs Committee here at AICAG, and this morning I'm here with Jakari Jackson. Jakari Jackson is a student at Prairie View A&M University, and he's here at the student conference as one of 12 student leaders who are part of our Minority Serving Institutions Initiative. Good morning, Jakari. Good morning. Thank it's you for having me. Meet you. Could you start off by telling us a little bit about yourself and your involvement with your student chapter at Prairie View A&M? Well, my, I, like I said, my name is Jakari Jackson. I'm from Louisiana originally, but I did most of my schooling in Texas, so I'm kind of a Texan now. But I go to Prairie View A&M University, the greatest university on the planet by far. And we are HBCU, so uh, it's predominantly you know, African American, but when you look at the engineering side of the school, it's very diverse, and we, we just have every different type of person that you can expect. And uh, what AICAG has done for me is, well, last year was my first year. I was treasurer. I was nominated as treasurer because of kind of like a business as like business background that I have. And one thing I got to do with that was, I got to I understood what it's not my job. You know, that's not a that's not a thing in engineering. What you have to understand is, you will have to help others with their jobs. Like just because I'm treasurer and I'm over the money and fundraising doesn't mean I can't do a president's job if she needed help or the vice president if he needed help. So you would have to learn how to work with the groups and now I'm president. So now I understand better how to deal with different personalities and as we go to these conferences I can teach the younger, you know, freshmen, sophomores coming up that like I said, there's no such thing as it's not my job or how could you deal with certain people. That sounds like a wonderful leadership experience and also you're a great team player. <laughs> Uh, what do you intend to do with those skills after graduation? Well, my, my main future goal is I want to go get my PhD because I want to come back to Prairie View and I want to be able to teach or, you know, just find some type of way to give that knowledge back to the younger students like what Dr. Rears or Dr. Osborne Lee did for me. And But I know first what I want to do, I want to get some type of experience in the industry, whether it's consulting or the manufacturing or any marketing, any, any type of experience I can get so I can at least have something to give back and talk about, like, so I can tell them, like, hey, I know what it takes to do this or do that, depending on which field they would like to go in. And after coming back to Prairie View, or even during that time, I would like to start, like, engineering programs type mm -hmm. to, like, help even younger kids understand, like, it's okay to be an engineer, do stuff in STEM, you know, dealing with science and everything like that, and just show them all the opportunities that come with it because I wasn't given that coming up. You know, they teach you sports and that's it. But it's a lot of engineering opportunities that come with this. It's a lot of different places in the world you can see using engineering as a tool, and I would just like to give that knowledge back. That's wonderful. So it sounds like you've got some very ambitious professional goals that are also very much engaged in the idea of service to your community. Yes. Is there any particular aspect of chemical engineering that you find most exciting? It's just all the opportunities. Like, coming into engineering, I didn't know about all the opportunities that we have. I just know they make money. They make a lot of money. That's what they tell you coming into it. But they don't teach you about the discipline that it gives you and just the drive that you got to have in order to be successful in engineering, whether it doesn't matter what industry you go to. So it's just that it gives me, like, that drive. And that just kind of makes me passionate about it. Very happy to have you. Thank you. Uh, my final question, how do you think your experience with your AICAG student chapter is going to help you achieve these professional goals? Well, like I said, being president now, I have dealt with so many different personalities. I've figured out ways to handle certain situations, whether negative or positive. So I feel like there's no place I could go in the industry where I would have a challenge that I couldn't, I couldn't handle, I couldn't conquer. And that's just... We just got to chalk that up to prayer of you for giving me that skill. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for your enthusiasm and your willingness to speak with us today, Jakari. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having me.